You know, in the theater, from the days of Greek drama and Shakespeare, all the way up until today's movies and television, men have occasionally dressed up as women and appeared on stage. Uh, some of the classic examples of our time, Milton Berle, Flip Wilson, Jack Lemmon, Tony Curtis, Rex Harrison, Jack Benny. However, in clubs all over the country, such as this one, some men seem to be getting better at it, and some aren't. <laughs> Let's go in and watch. Walk this way. If I could walk that way, I wouldn't need a talcum powder. <laughs> Everyone who works at the Queen Mary is a man. That's right, the Queen Mary presents two shows a night, seven nights a week, and people come from all over to look at a floor show performed by these lovely and glamorous guys. At first, I couldn't believe that these performers were all men. They mimed the popular records of Cher, Diana Ross, and Donna Summer. Some of these gowns cost as much as one of Cher's, and some of these guys spend as much time under the dryer as Dolly Parton. And the similarity doesn't end there. Before the show, we went backstage to talk to the MC, Butch Ellis. Butch has been working in places like this for many years, and we asked him how he got started. I was on the stage in an opera one time. I was very young, and some professional makeup man made me up, and no one knew who I was. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know myself, and I said, that's it, that's me right here. And so uh, I started doing my own thing. How and long ago was that? How long ago did you start? Oh, gee, you're being mean. I'm being mean, huh? <laughs> no, <laughs> about, you know, that uh, was about 20, little, little, 25 <laughs> years ago. Of course, at that time, I had to live as a girl all the time. It was a full 24-hour day acting job. I mean, you were always dressed as a lady? Always. Kind of. No one knew that I was male because at that time it was very unacceptable even for to have female impersonators. And nobody knew that you were actually a guy? I would say in uh, all the cities I've worked in, perhaps <clears throat> occasionally my boss knew. We watched as Butch put on his makeup, and right before our eyes he became Phyllis Diller. The female impersonations at one time was uh, a fun thing to do. Some people consider it an art form. Uh, most uh, of the queens, shall we say, that worked in drag, usually starved to death. Then, uh, with the discovery of television, and uh, the great use of makeup artist and hairstylist, everyone became beautiful. And uh, some of them made it, some of them didn't, on the beauty angle of it. Did it ever influence in any way when Jack Lemmon and Tony Curtis was doing it? Did the Some Like It Hot and, and movies like that? Jack Benny used to do it, Milton Burrow would come out and address to that. No, it most probably would influence me more now, because I do comedy now. In those days, I thought they were cute, and I was beautiful. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of little jealousies at oh, home between who's the and most little. beautiful and brave. Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah? That's just any phase of, of any work that you do in best typist, worst typist, best short name taker, anything. Do you have little arguments and tiffs backstage? Fights. 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 <laughs> Sometimes fights. <laughs> or real fights. Not me. I'm too old. <laughs> I, I couldn't resist asking Butch about his makeup kit. I got this... <laughs> in New York City when I was working the 82 Club, which was in, uh, shall we say, the very bad part of the Lower East Side. Yeah. And if you couldn't run to the subway quick enough, you might get mugged. Oh, so you use this as a weapon? One smile and smack them. <laughs> <laughs> then I went out in front to watch the show. The people were having a really good time, but I was a little surprised to discover that the first young man goes under the name of Amanda Winters. How do you explain it? I'm honest with them. This is an illusion that uh, they're seeing. I just tell them that I'm a boy, and if they don't believe it, well... The guy that came out next in this sequin and net chair bono ball gown was gorgeous. His name is Andrea Nicole. Well, when my mother explained the facts of life to me, I think she omitted this part. Well, evidently, my mom omitted a lot, too. I mean, I never saw any guys in Nebraska that looked like that. You're not just a boy. You, you, you know, what, 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 what have you done? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> but what have you done? Have you had operations? What have you done to change yourself? Well, I've had uh, female hormones, injections, pills. You want a date? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, I need longer to think about it. <laughs> Here, I, I am confused, believe me, I'm from Omaha. I went over and talked to another one of the guys at the bar. What do you want to do eventually? 
pretty much the same thing I've been doing. You're just going to keep going? I'm just going to keep going. How old are you? 21. 21 years old. When I was 21, I looked nothing like this. <laughs> you're 36, you don't look anything like I'm not 36. Get off my back. <laughs> But we do have a wonderful show for you tonight. I gotta get out of here. I'm not kidding. And Elizabeth Taylor will be here. I'm going to bite her on the neck and she'll go <laughs> right out the door. <laughs> so fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. Then I asked the bartender for the real lowdown. Approximately 70% of their clientele is tourists, primarily straight tourists. In other words, people from Omaha, Nebraska, and Des Moines, Iowa, they're coming here to see the show, right? Definitely. Uh, it's a set aside, it's something different in L.A. to do besides going to Magic Mountain or a Knott's Berry Farm. It's something for mom and dad to go to. They come here to get embarrassed, to get freaked out, totally. Do they get embarrassed and real freaked out? Totally. You must have had some funny experiences, haven't you? Tremendously, especially a man who tried to pick me up or something like that, and then I have to tell him I'm a boy. I beg your pardon? I'm a boy, too. You're a boy, too? Listen, I have a paper route, and I have to... I asked some of the customers, why do you come here? My son uh, works here. This is really fantastic. I've really had a good time tonight. This is the most enjoyable night I've ever had. This really is, and I'm really... In Fantastic drive. I love the show, it's great. So, you know, it's not Kmart or Steinways or Ralph's, it's just bizarre. It has changed my whole life. I'm going straight. <laughs> well, anyway, there you have it, and uh, try to remember that what you just saw ain't necessarily what you just saw. Uh, these aren't really women, because like Shakespeare said, there's more there than meets the eye. <laughs>